Courses, example appetizers, entrees, desserts, etc., can be assigned to items on the chit entry screen and can be included in the preparation printout. Courses are tied to shifts to determine what courses can be used during which shifts and if course codes will be used on chits during that shift. Let's take a look at how to set courses and shifts up and see how courses appear on the chit entry screen and preparation printouts. First, let's take a look at where to specify printing options for courses. Specify the course prep program when printing a chit with courses on it. There are six standard designs, which are similar to the prep print program. In the options menu, in chit slash prep printing, optionally enable this option to suppress the order summary section on the standard course prep design being used. Here is an example of a suppressed and not suppressed order summary. You do have the ability to override the course prep design by terminal. Next, let's take a look at how to create and assign courses and shifts. Courses are partition specific, so you will want to start by specifying the partition you are creating or modifying courses for. Then select an existing course to review or make edits to it, or select set up another course to create a new course. Enter a course code with a max of five characters, then click enter. It is important to ensure that active is flagged if you want to use this course code, as this flag determines if the course code can be used or not. In the future, if this course will not be used, uncheck the active flag to inactivate it. Enter a course print description with a max of 30 characters, which will print on the prep printout. Set the course printout sort to determine the sort order for courses when they are printed on the prep printout. This is numerically ranked starting at 001. Enter a course display description, which is used as the course description on the POS chit entry screen when courses are listed. This will also be used as the button menu description for the auto fire feature if enabled. Set the course selection sort order to determine what order this course will appear in when courses are listed on the chit entry screen. This is also numerically ranked. Set the course display indicator to one character. This character will be used on the chit entry screen to indicate the course an item belongs to. The entry in this field must be either 0 to 9 or A to Z. When this field is flagged, the course will be available for the fire feature on the chit entry screen. This field is active if the course gets fired field is flagged. If flagged, an item will be highlighted on the chit entry screen until it has been fired. Now we can go ahead and assign sales categories to this course. This screen is similar to the assign feature found in other Jonas programs, and it allows you to assign multiple sales categories to a course at once. Ensure the action flag is on the appropriate setting, as this determines which sales categories will be updated. Use the lookup icon to select the applicable sales category for this course. The import button can be used to import a pre-created CSV file. Use the specs button to determine what information is required for the CSV upload. Once you have added the applicable sales categories, click Update, and in the confirmation pop-up, click Yes to proceed. You will then receive a prompt informing you that the sales categories have been assigned. Click OK to confirm this message. The right pane will list the sales categories that are now assigned to this course. Double-click on a category to remove it from this list. Or click Delete All to remove all listed categories. Note that a category can only be assigned to one course. If needed, a user can change the course in the chit entry screen. For example, if appetizers are assigned to course 1, but an appetizer is ordered as a second course, the user can change the appetizer to course 2 directly in the chit entry screen. Once you have finished assigning sales categories, click Exit, and in the pop-up, click Yes. The next step is to complete the Shift Setup by Area. This will access the Shift Setup by Area program to allow you to set up courses without leaving the course codes program. It is the shift the chit is started in that determines which course codes will be used for the duration of that chit. Start by specifying the sales area. Next, enter a description and start an end time for all applicable shifts. 
You even have the option to set a default menu by shift and switch to a specific chip print program by shift. To determine which courses will be assigned to this shift, click the Courses button. The Course Indicator defines the color of the course character indicator on the chip entry screen. The Apply column indicates which course codes will be used for the shift. The setup requires one code to be defined as default. This default course will be the course code used when no course code is defined in the sales category for this item or if the one defined in the sales category is not applicable to the shift. Set all other eligible codes to yes. You can use the preview and next arrows to switch between the shifts for the sales area. Note that you must save your changes before using these arrows, otherwise your changes will not save. Once you have set the default course and all other applicable courses to yes, click OK to save and repeat the setup for all the shifts. If applicable, use the GL button to reallocate GL postings based on the shift. The edit log will display a list of changes that have been made to the shift. Click OK to save and exit. You can also access an edit log for the course which will list changes that have been made to this course code, and you can double-click on a line to view further details. Once you've completed the setup for this course code, click OK to save, and repeat this process to set up all required courses. You can access the Shift Setup by Area program directly, i.e. not within the course codes program, directly within the Point of Sale System Setup menu if you need to modify or review the shift setup. Course setup can be overridden by terminal within the area override section, where you can go ahead and override the applicable section and set your overrides accordingly. Then click OK to save. You can also assign a default course to a sales category directly in the sales category program. In the general settings tab, Assign the default course code for the sales category. Click OK to save your changes and complete this process to assign all default courses per sales category as required. This report will show the course setup and which shifts they are linked to. Start by selecting your partition and configure the report parameters by specifying which sales areas, shifts, and courses you'd like to report on. Then click the Export button. Configure the export to Excel parameters and optionally use the Columns button to pick which columns you'd like to have display in the report. Otherwise, the report will print all available columns in the report for you. Then go ahead and click the Export button to export the report. Here is an example of a report. Now that you have defined your courses, you may want to add our course-related menu functions to your menus. There are two menu functions you can add. The Fire Courses function will allow the user to fire courses to the print printers. For the Fire Course option, you have three options. Select at POS is the default option and will prompt the user with a list of the courses that are on the chip and they can select the one to send to the print printers. The list of courses will be those that are flagged as course gets fired and are applicable to the shift the chip was started in. Predefined will activate the predefined course field where you can indicate which course will be fired when the button is selected by the user. Auto by prep sort will fire a course when the button is selected and automatically advance to the next course. The button description indicates the course it will fire. The course gets advanced based on the course selection sort order and uses only the courses that are on the chip. It will reset if more items are added later on. For Fire Sent, you can choose Course Only, which will send the course description to the prep printers for the course that is being fired, or Items with Course, which will send the course description and the items of that course to the prep printers for the course that is being fired. The second menu function button that you can use is the Change Course button, which will allow the user to change the course for an item. Set the Change Course option dropdown to either Select at POS, 
which will prompt the user with a list of the courses and they will be able to select the one they want the item switched to. The list of courses available will be those that are applicable to the shift the chit was started in. Predefine will activate the Predefine Courses field where you can indicate which course this item will be changed to when the button is selected by the user. Make sure to click OK to save your menu. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more how-to videos and don't forget to subscribe.